In this video, we'll look at Serial Solution Summon product, share some information about the advantages and disadvantages, and show it in action. Since this is the product that Case Western Reserve University uses, I have a little bit more information available while I was analyzing these products. Summon uh, does not require any federation or links to external sources. They have a one unified index and they bring in the metadata from all the major publishers rather than bring in database content. So it doesn't actually contain any databases. It's a, it's a brand new index based directly on metadata from publishers and organizations that provide information. They can provide you a list of holdings comparison so if you give them a list of all your materials they will tell you how much of your content is available in the index and what percentage is not. It does not require any authentication it can be embedded in any website and anyone that comes across that search engine can use it. The only time you have to authenticate is if you need actual access to the full text. Someone also created a brand new platform when they created this product. Um, it, was, it was new and they did not modify an existing platform. They do offer regular updates and fixes. It is a software as service model and so since you're not hosting it they're able to keep it updated and modified and make immediate adjustments based on user feedback. Now that might also be considered a limitation for some people. Uh, the chain change is pretty constant every few weeks and it's based on priorities set by the number of customer uh, suggestions. For this example, I'm going to start on the library homepage because I want to show you another example, a feature of a discovery layer, and that is being able to embed a search box. So you can see on our library homepage in the header, we now have a search box that says summon, search across the library's collections. That is an example of a, a custom search box or widget and we embed this in all our library web pages and our libguides. So now let's jump into an example of a search so you can see it compared to the others. Again pretty traditional format for the dis discovery service as most of them the facets are all down the left hand side layouts pretty similar. Uh, one thing that's nice about summon is if you make changes you can click on this keep search refinements and if I've selected any of the features or facets down the left hand side they'll stay selected and I can redo my search and not have to set them again. Keep search refinements means anything you selected before will remain in the future. Summon offers a folder. Um, you don't create a user account so this folder gathers down here in the right hand corner but it's only a temporary for folder as long as you're on and in the summon service. Once you go away it disappears as well. You can hover over the titles for additional information. Summon also dedupes so as it gathers stuff from in different indexes it tries to group them together. You will can see on the summon su search bar over here on the left the facets there's the institutional information and that's because we're part of a consortium so we've got the entire central catalog from our consortium embedded and so we could turn off or turn on which institution we're looking at and also when you're selecting the facets in summon if you hit more you can actually include or exclude some of the facets which is a really nice feature. 